Where's the hottest place in the world? Death Valley. On the website science.org, they say, Death Valley holds the record for the highest air temperature on the planet. On the 10th of July, 1913, temperatures at the aptly named Furnace Creek area in the California desert reached a blistering 56.7 degrees Celsius. Huh. Who makes the best truck? Sorry, I don't understand. What? Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 LTZ with the Sport Edition package with the Duramax. I borrowed this truck from Jerry Signer Chevrolet here in Salt Lake City. Be sure to check out the inventory. They got a ton of trucks here. And this one's pretty unique as you guys can see out back. Let's go ahead and walk around this truck and then at some point in this video I'll show you guys the window sticker. We're going to start in the back here because I want to show you guys something about Chevy pickups. If you are buying a Chevy, one thing I like about this tailgate is LTZ. This is a powered tailgate, so it's powered down and power up. Okay. Now this truck does have the full LED tail lights. For some weird reason, earlier this year there was a supplier issue because some of these trucks were getting delivered to dealership with just the standard tail lights. Now, when you get this sport appearance package, you do get the painted bumpers in the rear with the parking sensors. Parking sensors do come standard on LTZ out back. But believe it or not, parking sensors are an option on the front, okay? I didn't mention this, but that tailgate out back also is an option. Now, when you get the sport appearance package, you guys can pretty much guess what it gives you, right? Painted bumpers and it blacks out some of the badges and the trimming on the exterior of the truck. So let's kind of go through that really quickly. One thing I like about GM is whether you get a white truck, a red truck, they give you this matching accent to break up the blackout on the front grille. That is really smart. Now some people are getting tired of the blackout. I don't really carry the way I like it and I probably would opt for it if I were to buy a truck. But I like how they give you that little accent on the grill. I think it looks really good. And then of course your bow tie has that black, it's like a matted look too has like a low gloss. A little bit of chrome, which is kind of nice because when you look at the headlights, you still have some chrome here. And down below, here's that trim piece that I was telling you about. They do black this out, that would otherwise be chrome. Black recovery hooks, grills all finished in the gloss. And this trim piece would be chrome too, but it's blacked out. Full LED headlights and fog lights. These are reflective style down here. This trim piece comes black regardless. And then you guys can see your balance up front. Now, because this is a Z71 package, you guys see you have some skid plates on the front end of this truck covering that diff and right there. You have your engine block heater plug there. And this truck does have the active grill shutters too. Some of your badging, painted trim piece with this package and the door handles are black too. More badging there. Now, obviously, GM gives the best tires. So these are the Michelin all-terrain tires. They're called the LTX AT2s. Here is the tire size, LT275718. And 3,640 pounds is the capacity per tire, 80 PSI code. And then here's a good look at the suspension. So the upper and lower control arms are going to be steel. Your steer knuckle also is finished in steel. And it looks kind of hollow too, by the way. So they give you a little bit of weight savings right there. You guys can see the brakes pretty good too. Four piston brakes, Rancho shocks. There are no coils. Have you ever noticed that on the HD trucks with the independent front suspension, there's no coils, huh? Fabric material for the wheel well. But yeah, I think that this is a really nice package. I like that they give you the black door handles to match that sport appearance package on all the other trimming. Smart key for the front doors. Now on the beds, six foot, 10 inch bed, they have the biggest standard bed of Ford and Ram. 36 gallon fuel tank and seven gallon DF if you get a diesel. You got these steps they've been doing for a while. Five leaves in the main pack. Out back, this lower leaf here is gonna be your uh, helper spring and then you have these four leaves here. Wax coating on the frame, more Rancho shock. And 342 rear end. Here is the spare tire, still a Michelin too, by the way.
And then let's go ahead and check out the powertrain. When it comes down to powertrains, GM is the most simplest. Like if you want a diesel, get a diesel. If you want a gas truck, get a gas truck. With Ford and Ram, you gotta pick between the high output or standard output. They both have different transmissions. They both have different gearing. GM just simplifies it. They say, screw all that. We just want a truck that can get the job done. And when you get the 2500, you do get the 11 and a half inch ring gear. This Duramax is the same one in the 3500s. It's gonna have 470 horsepower, 975 pound feet of torque, 10 speed, stamp approved Allison behind it. First gear is a 454 to one, so that's a deep gear. And that's kind of why GM doesn't go with a 410 or a 373 because they feel as though the transmission is gonna make up for that higher gearing out back. And this is a pretty reliable setup. They did do some updates to it with the turbo and the combustion, but Denzel fuel pump and injectors. Let's check out the interior. If you didn't like the interior from 2020 to 2023, well, the good news is GM did fix it for 2024. Refreshed, front dash, and listen, when it comes down to price point, this is where GM has been winning constantly. And when you think about the powertrain, when you think about the bigger bed, when you think about how they even slipped that fifth wheel prep package slightly behind the axle, which gives you better clearance for your trailer. This truly is a hard truck to be, guys, 100%. And when you get the LTZ, you get the perforated leather, you can get leather on LT, and maybe I'll do a comparison in the future, but you don't get that perforated leather. And this breathes better, and you get the heated and ventilated seats. Another thing you get with the LTZ is, you get the power for tow mode. You have power folding mirrors too. And auto up and down, Bose sound system is an option on this truck. So the LTZ has, in my opinion, two levels. It has an entry level, which like I said, it doesn't have front parking sensors, that tailgate's not power. And yes, you would have a bench up front. So this center console is an option. So there's a lot of things that come optional. But when you do get these things, the price point is really good, which you'll see here in a second. So let's go through this really quickly. I want to show you guys the payload here. And I want to show you guys this package, this mystery package that I have not seen ever. So stepping in, push button starts right there. Dual climate control, heated and ventilated seats. Heated seats would come standard, but ventilated seats is an add-on. Heated steering wheel buttons right there. And these screens come standard. So this is a 12-inch screen. And then this is your 13.4. You guys saw I was playing with that Google system too. I never really show that, and I wanted to show it to you guys really quickly. 360 camera view is right there. Your bed view camera is right here. Also, you have this guy, which has uh, the camera on top of the bed there, home links there, LED interior lights, and then you have the vanity with more LEDs. This has the warm color too, which is better for seeing yourself. Grab handles. This one has that sunroof. And then out back, you guys see, you have that storage in the seats. There's a little bit of storage below too. But on the center console, very clean layout. This is probably the best truck to buy if you're getting into trucks, if you want to learn something and you don't want a lot of like confusion in the interior. I think this is the easiest one for sure. For sure. Now, the only thing this truck is lacking, I said I was gonna say this a lot in my videos, you cannot see multiple temperatures in this truck. They only let you see like, here, let me just show it to you. They only let you see this guy, transmission fluid, right there, but they only give you these analog gauges right there, which I like to see a number, personally. But this screen is all customized, where you can move things out of here if you like. Ooh. If you want to move this thing out of this dock station, if you want to move this over here, you can do that. Or if you want to move it over to the side, you can do that. And then you have all your buttons down below, exhaust brake. This is like a alert for lane departure, parking sensors. You can drop the tailgate and lift it back up from inside. Caution lights, traction control, downhill assist, which comes with that Z71 package. Here's your heads up display. Shows you your off-road pages, miles per hour. I would like for them to add like the temperature, time, things like that in there too, that would be nice. They do show you a lot of nice features, but they could do a little bit better. Although they do show you the temperature and time right there, so they don't necessarily have to. It's just nice. Now on the passenger side, you guys can see, this is gonna have a 10-way power seat. You cannot get that on an LT, right? So a little bit of storage at the top there, and here's the glove box. If you guys can see that sticker, that shows you the uh, camper uh, capacity if you want to put a camper inside the bed 
is 2,379 pounds. Am I seeing that correctly? 2,373 pounds. And let's go ahead and check out the back. Here's some of that storage there. And you guys saw this. And here. Outboard heated seats, not available in LT by the way. Two USBs, seat back pockets. I like the flat floor surface and the floor does sit low. So for tall people back here, you get pretty comfortable and they give you like a cutout in the roof, more LED lighting. Now let's go and check out the window sticker. Right here, you guys can see the specs, colors, and then the powertrain at the very top. And then here is the standard equipment Base price for this truck is going to be $62,200, that's with the gas engine. And then here are all the options. The Duramax is right there, and then this has the LTZ Plus package, which you definitely want to get because it gives you all the nice features. Safety package is right there, and that comes a part of that uh, LTZ Plus package too, okay? And then Z71 Sport Edition, technology package, which gives you the heads-up display and then the rear camera mirror, LTZ Convenience Package 2. And there is that mystery package. It's the Chevy Bowtie Accent Package. So it gives you the Bowtie Puddle Lamp, black bedside decal, which you guys saw here, and then black tailgate lettering, which you guys saw. This one also has the auxiliary trailer camera, and then gooseneck prep package, and Z71 off-road, which I explained gives you some of those off-road features. Total price with destination at 1995 is $83,975. Now, with that being said, you guys can see this decal. You know, I am not a big fan of decals. I always pull off 4x4 stickers. You guys have seen me do that in the past on almost every truck I've ever had with those things on there. I like this, guys. I like this a lot. You know why? Because when you have a white truck, white trucks are kind of plain. And having the sport appearance makes it look a lot nicer. But apart from that, having that decal just kind of really sets you apart. So I am glad that Jerry Steiner opted the truck to have that because I would have never known that you had this and it's a really nice feature. Now, if it was nighttime, I would show you the puddle lamp. So the puddle lamp is slightly different here. That's gonna give you a bow tie on the ground. So that's a nice little feature to have. It kind of, again, sets you apart. But I hope you guys liked the video. Let me go ahead and show you the payload and I'll pretty much wrap it up for us. So you guys can see here, the gross axle weight rating up front is going to be 5,600 pounds. The rear is 6,600 pounds. 11,350 is the gross fuel coil rating. 18 by 8 wide wheels. And then payload is 3,123 pounds. That is enough capacity to tow a fifth wheel. Now, you're not looking at front livings. You're not looking at toy haulers that are probably more than 34 foot. Um, I would say your dry pin weight should be under 2,000 pounds. And I would say 12,000 pounds would be max gross fuel weight rating for our fifth wheel personally that's just my opinion you can go do whatever you want to do but you guys can see this truck has a curb weight of 8,227 pounds 27.5 is the gross combined weight rating and then 18.5 conventional towing and then 19.1 for your gooseneck hope you guys like the video this truck is available be sure to ask for keith here at jerry signer he's the sales manager and he can point you in the right direction for salespeople. be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel make sure your notification on See you soon.